Hey there, it's Sarah Walker here, founding sister of the Sisters Enchanted, where it's our mission to make magic mainstream, bringing you the next video in our Spirit Week series, where we are talking a little bit of magical enchanted goodness each and every day. And today I am putting the P in spirit as we talk about potions. Okay, so you don't have to be a potions master, you don't have to go to Hogwarts or anything like that to learn about making potions. So a potion is defined, I believe, as any liquid that has healing, magical, or poisonous properties. So we're going to go ahead and ignore that poisonous part and go with the healing and the magical here in our potions class. So in making potions, you can craft up any cool thing with liquids so essential oils teas your coffee your smoothies your healing balms and salves all of this stuff is under the category of a potion so what you can do today to make some magical potions in your life is think about the liquids that you're already conjuring up are you already making tea are you already making coffee do you typically make uh, some kind of spray that you use to cleanse your home or cleanse your aura or just a body spray. Do you make your own deodorant? Do you, you know, here where I am this time of the year, we have an ant infestation. So I conjured up uh, a little something with some essential oils to try to keep the ants from coming into my house. I, uh, you know, what are you already crafting up in your little potions room or your kitchen? Uh, so think about those things. And so to make it really super magical, throw some intention into it. So when we just do something haphazardly without thinking about it, there's really no magic infused in that. There's no intention, no energy. What I challenge you to do is think about the things you're already doing and infuse a little bit of magic and a little bit of energy into it to really make it a potion rather than just something you're already using. For example, tea. If you make herbal teas or if you just, you know, purchase tea bags from the store, dunk them in the hot water, nothing wrong with that. Uh, you can look at the properties of the tea that you are consuming and, and go online and just look up the magical properties of the different ingredients and then focus some intention on that. So maybe it's something for for calming anxiety or for sleep or for a little bit of energy or maybe it's a rose tea for some love and go ahead and make up, brew up your potion with intention. You can stir it, you can simply hold the cup in your hand and focus your energies on the properties of those herbs and then concoct yourself a nice little potion brew to consume to bring that energy into your body. Something that I like to do, I am a coffee drinker, probably more coffee than I should admit, and I like to throw a little bit of cinnamon for some fire, some love, some passion, ignite my days, and also put in a little drip of honey for some sweetness to sweeten my days up a little bit, to balance things out too. Between the, all that fire, add a little sweetness in there, a little sugar. So I like to take my morning cup of coffee and make it a potion and make it a, a ritual brew that I use every day to, to add the, that, those elements of cinnamon and that sweetness of the honey in there and make it something really spectacular and special. You can do this, like I said, with sprays, any bath and body products that you make, household cleaners. You can certainly craft up a potion to clean the, your floors in your home and banish negative energy or your, your surface areas. If you are a person who has really been feeling creatively stagnant, maybe you want to wash down the kitchen table maybe if that's where you do most of your creating you want to craft up a potion to to stir up the the creative energies and get rid of any stagnant negative energies there or maybe your your office desk anything like that so potions are things that you can make in your home probably with some of the things that you have on hand right now just think about what it is that you have what you can add water or witch hazel or fractionated coconut oil or anything like that too to make it an, an amazing liquidy brew and look up magical properties of other things you already have and see what you can put together to brew up some of your own potions today i'd love to hear what you're brewing up in your potions room slash your kitchen over in our facebook group feel free to come find us at the sisters enchanted and and join and let us know what you're doing and thanks for joining us for today our potions portion of the event and i will see you tomorrow where we put the first eye in spirit and talk about intuition. Until then, I hope you have an enchanted rest of your day.